Welcome to this Linux tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create complex directory structures using mkdir command and also tree command. So first, I recommend you to install the command tree by typing sudo tree, well, sorry, apt install tree. Of course, it won't install anything because I already have it. Yeah, I already have it. So I'm going to create some directories. One will be more difficult than the other, but it is up to your imagination, okay? Or to your needs. So first, let Let's create something simple with mkdir or make there, then dash pv. The option v will display the output of well, what we did in a standard output. And the option p will create parents directory, which is what we want to. So first, Let's going to create a directory called A. Inside the directory A, I'm going to create B. And inside B, C. And inside C, D. So let's see what we get. All right, this, that is the output. If I type tree and then the name of the directory that I just created, we have there our directory structure in the tree format. That's why tree is also, well, is very useful for this kind of tasks. And now I'm going to remove it because I want to create something more difficult or more complex. Oh, sorry, I have to type the name of the directory. Great. And uh, let's create another one with the same name using the same options. Now inside A, I want to create another directory called B and inside, well, inside A, I want two directories. One of them would be B. All right. Now, inside B, I want three directories. Directories. This will be, this will, yes, this will be uh, B1. Sorry, I have to put curly brackets in order to group them. Uh, B1, B2, and B3. You separate them using commas. And you close the curly brackets. Once you've finished, um, you create, you separate what you got in, inside the B directory in order to create the other directory, which is C. Then inside C, I want C1 and C2. And you close that group and you close the entire group, the whole group. So let's review this. We have a directory called A. Inside A, we have B and C. Inside B, we have B1, B2, and B3. Inside C, we have C1 and C2. And we close the curly brackets. This bracket belongs to this, this one. And these two brackets are for grouping our directories inside B. Same with C, okay? So if I press enter to this, we have received the output and then we type tree and the name of the directory we just created. There we have it. We have three directories inside B and two directories inside C. Of course, B and C are inside A also. Now, let's create something more difficult. All right. Make there dash pv 
and then I'm going to create the same directory A. This time I'm going to create again two directories inside A, which is B and E. E. But inside B, inside B I want to create three directories. There will be B1. I'm going to start B with B1. Inside B1, I want to create um, B2, B3, and B4. Close the curly brackets. Remember, these are these are the directories we have inside B1. Now, inside B, I want to create C, and inside C, I want to create C1. All right. Now, the third directory I want inside B is directory D. And inside D, I want to create three directories, which are D1, D2, and D3. We close the curly brackets. And let's review this again, just in case I didn't make a mistake. Uh, all right, this is where we, we all the directories began. Inside B, I want, well, yes, inside B, I want B1. And inside B1, I want B2, B3, and B4. Great. Now, in the same directory B, I want C and C1, and then D, and inside D, I have D1, D2, and D3. Okay, looks good for now. And now I close this, and then I create E, the directory E. And inside E, I am going to create E1, E2, and E3. Close the curly brackets and click U N with another curly bracket to close everything. So if I press enter to this, we receive the output because of the V option that we passed to MKDIR command. But if you type three and then the directory we just created, you have this directory structure, as we said. Inside A, we have two directories, two main directories, B and E. Inside B, we have B1, C, and D. Now, in B1, we have B2, B3, and B4. In C, we have C1, and D, we have D1, D2, and D3. Same thing with E, all right, as we said with the previous command. So this is everything for today, guys. See you in the next video.